Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy Basement Dweller Opinions here, coming back at you with another one of his opinions from his motherfucking basement. Now, I don't usually talk about this this stuff. I don't I don't usually talk about uh other YouTubers. I've done it in the past before, if you've seen, you know. Uh, but this guy, I, I really like this guy because he's the one channel that I've started off like I kind of. I don't know. I don't want to say I feel attached to the guy because I don't because I don't know the guy personally. But I, I started off when this guy didn't have really very many subscribers whatsoever. Um, and now he's blossomed into a channel with 157,000 subscribers and more and more people know him. I mean, there was a point in time where nobody knew him. I think he had like 5K, maybe 10K when he first, when I was first watching him. Um, and now people like True Joy, he's had interviews with True Jordy, Vidal, uh, fucking Deji. I think the only person he hasn't yet is like KSI and he'll get there eventually. But he's gotten to the point to where now he's recognized by Showstar. And he was actually going to be on the panel of people commentating on the fight. And that was dope to see, man. Like, that, that that's fucking awesome to see. He, he's obviously always wanted to do that. Um, he's been a YouTuber who would analyze fights, footage, people's training footage. He clearly knows what he's talking about. He has a background in, I believe, kickboxing or Muay Thai. I believe he said uh, five years, maybe. I, I don't I don't remember how long he said, but he clearly he knows what he's talking about because he explains the shit very well. Now, just recently... He made a video actually today and he had to break the news that he won't be able to do it because he had a uh, surgery in January that basically is preventing him from being able to get on the flight because essentially I guess he would have, oh the surgery on his foot, but he, there would be something like a blood clot and then it would basically make things worse. I don't remember the exact wording of the doctor. You can go to the man's video, watch it, it's titled, this is the hardest video I've ever had to make. I'm sorry everyone. Um, but he's saying basically he can't make it and it's because of his foot surgery and he can't get on the plane well he's he's not advised to and first things first that I want to say um, is you're going to get another opportunity man this was the first one and I think this could be the first of many uh, it's a missed opportunity and I know it sucks to be sad but man keep your head up the fact that you've worked to this point to be able to even get recognized by Showstar, it means that you are on people's radar. It means that you are desired. Um, it does suck because we don't know if we're ever going to get another YouTube boxing event like this again. More than likely, I mean, KSI says that he wants to fight. Um, maybe Jake Paul might not want you on there because you know, all, the, all the hairline jokes you make about him. I mean, but hey, Logan Paul probably is going to fight again. I, it, I, maybe Logan Paul will reach out to you, you know? KSI is going to fight again. I'm pretty sure if Deji wins, Deji's going to fight again. There's going to... Now that I think about it, there's going to be more. There's going to be more stuff. I, I think this stuff is here to stay. This isn't just some circus that's that was here for like one year and it's gone. Obviously, it's not because people are still doing it. So I think that this is a thing now. And YouTubers are going to keep wanting to box. And I think more and more with business working the way that it does... And them wanting to gain the youth's attention in YouTube, having a very youthful audience, they're naturally going to allow for fighters to get on these cards like Deji. Uh, I believe Deji's... Nah, you know what? Nah, no. Deji's, Deji's fighting. This was a show star. So Deji was on like an official. It's crazy, right? Just like uh, Jake Paul. So it's possible Jake Paul is possible with anybody else. Jake Paul is not the biggest. Like, if PewDiePie wanted to do it, he could fucking do it. He has like 100 million subscribers, you know? If Mr. Beast wanted to do it, he could do it. There's other YouTubers, if they wanted to do it, they could do it. Jake Paul didn't have the biggest following in the world. There are other people with bigger followings, which is the point. So I think that you're, it's not a thing. You're going to get the opportunity again. You're in this space and you're solidified. Like, I think you're a bigger voice in this, this space than like the likes of True Jordy is now, you know? I think you're really bigger than anyone else. Now that I think about it, when it comes to the YouTube fighting analysis and stuff, and I know you want to eventually get past just the YouTube thing, because there's always that stigma of YouTube, YouTube rapper, YouTuber, YouTube this. I know you want to eventually be able to transition into, you know, well, more than likely. I don't know that, but I'm pretty sure you do. But anyways, I think in this space with the whole YouTube fight commentary sort of thing, uh, especially when it, uh, when it comes to people who commentated on, like, 
Jake Paul, KSI, Logan Paul fights. I think you're probably the biggest guy. I can't think of anybody who's bigger than you, who's strictly like, this is your thing. You can cover fight fights too, like stuff in the UFC and actual boxing matches, but you you predominantly cover like YouTube fighters. I, when it comes to that, I think you're the biggest guy. There's really nobody else that people are checking for. So with you being the biggest guy, you're going to have those opportunities. You just got to keep working hard. You know, when it rains, it pours, man. It sucks. And I know you know that more than anyone. But, I mean, I know that shit, too. Nigga, when I got my first car, I crashed it the day I got it. You know what I mean? I crashed my first car the, the day that I got it. That shit sucked. That shit fucking sucked. It was snowing out, and I didn't even know if I was going to get home. But I'm not trying to, like, mentor you or something. Obviously, you have more experience in life than I do. But I'm just trying to give you words of encouragement. You know, like, you're going to come back. Don't hold, don't hold your head down. I don't even know if you're going to see this. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. But also... Now, you, you can stop watching after this point. Some people may not like this. Some people may ignore this. But, is, from what I can tell, this is like your life's work. I don't know if you are or what you're doing outside of this. Like, you got some other job or career outside of the YouTube thing. There's nothing wrong with that, if not. But, this seems like this would be your life work. You're clearly very passionate about getting on the whole commentating thing. Like, you want this to be your thing. You clearly love doing this. And if this is your life's work and this is a great opportunity, in life, you got to take risk. That's what I'm coming to learn now. That's what I'm coming to learn. Is the risk worth the reward? The reward is you get to be on Showtime and you get to step your foot into a door of a room that you you this could change everything you could accomplish your goal if you don't do it you may get another opportunity you may or may not you probably could that's the safe way and it's like do you want to play it safe or do you want to take the the risk that's the way i see it um but whatever your decision is man i'm sure your friends respect it i respect it That's really all I got to say, you know. Um, it's up to you at the end of the day. I think obviously you're probably not going to do it, but if you are seeing this, what you going to do? What are you going to do? Because it's about you at the end of the day, your life. Not even like just the fans and everyone else trying to satisfy them. It's about you. If there's certain risks you got to take, you got to risk it for the biscuit. But... That's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And I'm out. Peace.